Welcome to the Potter blog site. Yesterday, Neil Armstrong, the first human on the moon, passed away. Today, we've created a petition to have Neil Armstrong's uh, name created as a petroglyph on a Mars rock face using the Mars Curiosity ChemCam laser, as uh, you see in this uh, JPL photo here. If we've created a, a page on our uh, Potter blog site uh, uh, dedicated to this uh, petition. And basically to make the petition happen, uh, we ask that you do uh, two things. Uh, first is uh, visit this JPL webpage and add this uh, information into their feedback. Basically it asks them to combine uh, the ChemCam laser science with art to create a dot matrix petroglyph of Neil Armstrong's name on a Martian cliff face. And you can see that uh, web page here, JPL web page. And we also ask you to uh, visit the uh, Mars Curiosity rover uh, Twitter page and tweet them. Again, we have a, uh, a specific tweet and a hashtag here, hashtag Mars Petroglyph. We ask again that you uh, Tweet them, say, asking them to uh, use the ChemCam laser to create a petroglyph on Mars. Now, a petroglyph is a, uh, a rock etching. You know, one of the finest examples here in the United States is a signature rock, also known as a El Moro National Monument, uh, where settlers, explorers, and Native Americans have uh, carved their names into the rocks over history. Uh, we also have an example of a petroglyph of a newspaper rock. I believe this is in Utah. Uh, also, you know, they've been well known in Australia. Uh, France, who was a co-creator of the uh, ChemCam laser, has their uh, European caves with some of the oldest uh, petroglyph rock art. We think this would be a, uh, a fitting monument to uh, Neil Armstrong and to our human accomplishment of uh, going on to Mars I think it will create a great archaeological ref, uh, record to inspire people, much as uh, humans have done throughout history, petroglyphs. Now, the rover itself has approximately 14,000 laser shots. Uh, this example here, a uh, JPL photo of uh, a, a rock face with a strata. And with a stratified rock face like this, I believe it would be possible to combine the science and the art to uh, space the ablations to actually spell out Neil Armstrong's name or some petroglyph they're equivalent of uh, to let future explorers, those who may not even remember us in the future, uh, to show that we were there in an archaeological fashion. And please support our effort. Uh, visit the Potter blog webpage and uh, select the uh, page link up here. That'll take you to the page, and you scroll down the bottom, and you'll see the links you need and uh, where to send. Um, thanks to everybody. Good evening.